We even helped Norwich out of relegation with that. Or out of the bottom place with that. Fucking joke. Four points off European qualification. We need a collapse from either Tottenham or Newcastle to make it. And I don't see that happening with either of them. Should have beat Newcastle, should have beat Chelsea. That would have been six points already. We would have been vying for top four if we'd won those games we deserved to win. Now what? We've got like an international break or some crap? What is this? I need to sit through this crap? What is this? Save game, if you must. Let me let me go on holiday. I'm not sitting through this nonsense. Let me go on holiday, please. Yep, take me here, please. Go on holiday. Thanks. So mad. I'm so pissed. At least our stream hasn't crashed today. My PC has been merciful. very excited for tonight's stream though uh with my mate should be cool we're gonna check out some stardew valley i believe check out some stranded deep maybe we've got a couple of two-player games we we've not really played games together for a while so i'm just looking forward to returning to some good old times really Have we almost got there? We're getting there, slowly, one day at a time. Leeds are in 12th position. It's not by any stretch of the imagination an easy game. And given our recent form, I don't think we can consider any game an easy game. Okay, another save here. All these defending drills, I need to tell you, defending is not as much of the problem as attacking is. We should be putting four past Norwich, easy. Remember when we beat, who did we beat at the start of the season? 7-0? QPR was it? Be surprised if we even beat them when we next face them, which I think is soon. We've got Leeds, we've got Wills, then I believe we've got QPR. Alright, all we can do is hope that this international break has allowed our players to kind of screw their heads on a bit tighter. And by a bit tighter, I mean at least remotely on. No longer have them looking like a bobblehead. <sighs> Endurance training. Resistance. All these things. What good are they if all our, all our squad gets injured anyway? I know that's not what they're for... Gay showing pleasing progress. Not to me, he's not. This is the only thing we can say, alright? This season... Oh, great. Edouard is back from injury. Bit fucking late. All we can say is that this season... Has allowed us the chance to develop some young talent. Players like Fajoli and Santos. They're improving. They are improving. Even if it feels like the squad as a whole is deteriorating. Lee Labada has been fraudulent. I'm not enjoying his output. He's putting in Olise-esque ghost performances. Unbeaten sequence gives us confidence. Unbeaten sequence? In what world? Against Leeds, maybe? 
Where's Fofana's good training? It's gone. I started paying him more money and he just disappeared. Am I losing a bit of the love for this career? Potentially. Potentially. We have a weak link developing between Abada and Scali. Wow. Remember when Scali was like just lightning fast down the wing? I miss those days. Good for 75 minutes of action. Good, you'll get the whole game. Thanks. To Curry suspended. All right, hit me. Never mind. Never mind. All right, hit me. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. When I go into games now, are we going to turn up? Are we going to score goals? Are we, well, we're definitely not going to score goals. Are we going to score a goal? Win the game? We, we only drew last game because of a lucky penalty. Send me. Send me. It's the weakest, it's the most fragile we've ever been in our time at Crystal Palace. We risk being dragged to 8th position, dare I say. He's already injured. Wow. Ezzy into the middle. Our lead's going to have the chance to break, or will it be us? Anderson through to Magno, back to Scali. Whips a ball in, and Fofana's there, and he might be offside. He is offside. Even when we score, it's not a goal. Alright, we got lucky this time. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm just oozing negativity, but I, I I don't know what to say. I'm wearing my emotions on my sleeve here. It really has been such a deflating few months here in this career. Magno tackled, but wins it back. Ezzy, from range. Easy save from Melier. Corner. Into the middle from Ezzy. Is Anderson there? He, he was there. Magno was also there, but Magno was offside, so it doesn't matter. Our lead's going to have a chance here, or are we going to continue with this early pressure, which has been con uh, convincing of and deserving of the lead that we do possess at this moment in time? Over to Edouard. Edouard wins it again in the air, leaping like a salmon. He picks it up and he smashes the, the post from five yards. Should have been the easiest finish of his career, but nope, he's out of form, so that's what you get. It's just unfortunate the whole team has come out of form at the same time. It's not like one or one or two players have gone out. The whole team has. The whole team's got injured. The whole team has lost any real drive to succeed, it seems. Fourth, I think, is now mathematically impossible. If Man United win, like, two games out of their next six. Now it's at the point where I'm, I don't expect us to keep any clean sheets. I expect us to concede. And it's just about hoping that we can force something over the line. Dacho does there. 30th goal of the season. Not that it matters. Second of the match. Look, if Harry Kane has taught me anything, it's that you can be a great striker. You can score many, many goals. But if you don't win anything at the end of it, what does it matter? What does it matter? Bring this back here. Should still be fairly audible while I just chill out. Leads on the edge of the box with a chance to half the deficit taken. Excellent finish by Jack Harrison, to be fair. Excellent finish. Leeds looking to come back in the game, and Hughes has given them a massive lifeline with his red card. Just play. Fuck it, just play. Oh, is he a four-star player now? In one position? No. Alright, I hit it. I've got no choice, really. No, I do. I do have a choice. Don't be stupid, alright? Don't just chuck points. I know you're salty, but at least be sensible. If we're gonna do it, it'll be like this.
Okay. Confirm. And just pray, really. Maybe be a bit cautious. Hold back a bit. Alright, we're building from the back. We've lobbed one over. Fofana's there. He has the chance to bury it and misses it. We've got Fofana of last season back over the past few weeks. I think he scored seven goals in the past, like, three months. He started on fire. Elsewhere, QPR holding City to a 2-2 draw. Although City have played with 10 men for most of the match. And we've given the ball straight to them in the dying minutes. And they scored. That's what we do. That is just what we do. We give teams last minute equalizers. It's not offside. It is onside. VAR will tell you that. It was miles onside. Yep. And we, we another, another last minute uh, drop of points. Brentford, uh, Aston Villa can overtake us if they win their game in hand, by the way. Hughes lost us that game. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm in the position where I kind of want to go and cancel the fucker's contract. He knew, he knew more than most, and he's experienced more than most, to know what such a mistake like that could do to our season, to our squad morale, and most importantly, the task at hand, to the match result. Caicedo tip to win the award. Caicedo. Fuck him. The team have just lost a lot of steel, it seems. A lot of steel. Ability to see out results. And to just generally be dominant in a match. Even where we are, possession-wise, dominant in a match, we can't convert chances. Everywhere from top to bottom, we're just rotting away. I've come to expect a certain level of commitment and a certain level of quality with possession, and we've just lost all, basically. Mitchell injured. Good. Two months. Fuck off. We are now in 8th. Villa did win their game in hand, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. You've had a week off. Surely Dukuri and Fofana st don't still want a break because they've had a week off. and bruised and just fucked. Maybe it's time for this. Consider something different. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. A winning formula has suddenly become rotten. And I thought maybe it would happen, but after a few seasons, we've won one game in our last five. Four from our last possible 15 points. Forsberg, early chance. Johnson 
manages to save us, but that's probably going to be a reflection of the afternoon we've got on our hands here. Rainy, rainy day in Wolverhampton. Edouard's there. Easy save for the keeper. Maybe last season Edouard scores that. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how to inspire these lads. I, I'm sure a team talk might help, but... I don't know. Matthias Nunes. Through. Johnny Otto. Wolves just keep coming. Nelson Semedo from range. Just horrid. Arsenal are pushing toward us as well now. Edouard with his 15th of the season. What does that do for the league table? Not much, to be honest. We're still in that 7th and 8th position. We've not picked up points in games that we've needed to, to really have a chance of catching Newcastle, so I'd be surprised if we do it now. Triori through, really should have buried that. Really should have buried that. It would have been some goal, though. It was an amazing, amazing run. Johnson catches with ease. Much gratefully, I'm sure. Newcastle currently 0-0 with Leeds. Leeds off the back of a win, a great win versus us. We've given the ball away easily. They should have scored. We've given it to them again. Just awful. Awful. We've got like the opposite of a partnership developing between our centre back and our right back. Ezzy Burry in a free kick. Moments of magic is the only way that we're going to win games because our team collective performance is just not there. Hi, FM Wonder Kids. Welcome to a rather somber stream. Our season has absolutely collapsed. <laughs> How you doing anyway? You alright? Hmm. Oh, we beat, we basically, we essentially battered Dortmund, home and away. It sh the game, in terms of like XG, you're looking at like a 6-3 aggregate result. We ended up losing 4-3 overall, no, 5-4 overall. Um, so it was tightly contested, but we deserved to win, we didn't come through. We went out of the FA Cup to Hull, deservedly. I did field some youngsters though, so that was to be expected. And now we're in 7th in the league where we were in a strong position for top four. Finished work at three, so I'm in the pub having a few pints, then home to play FM. Nice. That sounds like an ideal day, to be fair. Yeah, today's my day off as well, so I'm enjoying it with a lengthy stream. I'm also having a few drinks. I'm having some... Uh, oh, fuck. I've just finished a wee white Russian. Might mix something else in a few minutes. I don't know. But that's cool. I hope work was good. Dacho for Ibarra. Ibarra, I don't trust him to see out the game, but sure. Alright. 15 minutes to hold out here. Let's... Oh, okay. There's no reason in being this. Let's be cautious. Let's protect our lead because it's so valuable to us, apparently. If the result stays this way and Newcastle continue to draw against Leeds, we are two points behind them, having played the same games. And there is potentially a Europa League spot on the cards. Potentially. And honestly, who knows? Maybe if we come back again next year, maybe we'll be good enough to have a real go at the Europa League. Depending on our signings, of course, as well. But our young talent will be a year older. A year wiser. I'm managing Taunton. Just got promoted to League 2. Season 1, I won the Vanarama, Vanarama South. <clears throat> Season 2, I won Vanarama National. Very nice. Very nice. Constant progression. Let's see. When do you stream? By oh wait, do you stream? Or, or I I'm not actually sure. Do you stream, or are you just a very very helpful um, stream viewer? Because if not, you should maybe consider streaming. I'd watch. That sounds like you're on quite the quest. All right, five minutes. Surely, surely this is a win sealed. A much needed win sealed. Our second win in the last six games. Do, 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 do. We are in control of the match. We've been in control of every match, but we lose them anyway. And Leeds have, I believe, drawn with Newcastle, which is massive for us. Massive for us. I'm pleased that we're in the talk for continental qualification, yes. I can't lie. 
So all we've got to play for now, we've got no big six opponents left, I believe, in the last five games. Top four is impossible for us, pretty much. Streamed an Ajax save in the first week of Jan. Oh yeah, I remember you saying, I remember you saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, uh, you wouldn't stream Taunton? Uh, do you think it would like not promote engagement with viewers or something? Or is that just because you're having fun, just chilling at home doing it? But that's cool. I'll drop you a follow um, after the stream. Be cool to catch you streaming if you ever are. When you next are, rather. When is the next game? There's just a ton of international breaks right now. It's kind of annoying. We've made... We're the third team in terms of profit over the year. Nice. Having fun at home and chilling. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Can't knock it. Part of me wants to chill and play an Arsenal stream. Just off, an Arsenal save. Just off stream as well. Just to live out a power fantasy. <laughs> and enjoy actually winning trophies. Who knows, that might be in our future in this career. But this season has felt like something of a setback, to be sure. But you can't you can't just have constant success. There are highs and there are lows, right? And if the low is being 7th in the league, that's pretty good. 7th in the league and a last 16 place in the Champions League. It's good. It's chill. Coach advice summary. Workload is too low, sure. No longer a week, okay, fine, fine, fine. Alright. Dortmund are getting smashed by Barca. That could have been us. We could have been getting smashed by Barca. Yo, oh, they completed the hammering. 5 0. <laughs> Viewer count is depressing, to be honest. 2 to 4 viewers doesn't seem worth it for me, stream. Yeah, fair. Fair. I, I kind of like. You know, you can turn off the viewer account, which I've I've considered doing, because um, that can offer somewhat of a reprise. <laughs> We've had a few people in the stream today, but they've been coming and going. We had um, a few people earlier that were just kind of lurking, not really chat, you know, oriented. But as long as folk are just there and people can check out the VODs, I don't know. I kind of have fun with it, even if it's a low viewer account. I am fairly new to Twitch, so maybe that <laughs> that will become grading if that continues. I don't know. Something that I've found has given me a lot of sanity is that I enjoy... I need chatters. I stream mainly for interaction. Okay, fair. Something that I kind of enjoy is like playing a variety of games. I don't know if you do that or if you're firmly... Given, given your username, for example. If you're firmly just all in on Football Manager... I quite enjoy just mixing up a little bit, so a lot of days I'll play different games and then it becomes more about me just enjoying a new game and less so about focusing on the streaming aspect of it, you know? You're only FM, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, I can imagine if you need the interaction, you're only FM, it would be difficult for you to consistently stream if you're not getting the sort of engagement that you're after, that's fair. Game against Brighton. Our old stomping grounds. They beat us. They hammered us, actually, earlier in the season, 4-1. And then QPR, who I think we had our highest win, our highest uh, scoreline against earlier in the season with a 7-0 victory. Although we're a different outfit to what we were back then. We're lacking in confidence. We're lacking in everything, to be honest. So let's see how far the, the erosion has gone over the course of the season. A lot of them are just knackered, though. I, I do accept that the squad depth has been a true weakness this season. It's something I maybe could have and should have and kind of did, to be honest, foresee. But the extent of which I did not. So we'll aim to fix that in the summer with whatever money comes our way. And a Europa League qualification with an extra 30 million or whatever would go a long way to helping us on that path. So we do still have something to play for. Villa are one point ahead of us, having played a, or two points ahead of us, having played a game more. We can come within two points of Newcastle if we are able to succeed taking on Brighton. Then we've got a really, really doable double victory if our team decides to show up, <laughs> that is. We will be without Mitchell, which is a big loss. He offers a lot of uh, dynamic runs on that left side. But it leaves a spot for Rodney to claim. And Rodney's been impressive in the games that he has played. I'd say finishing our chances has been more of an issue than 
keeping teams at bay. When we concede big, you know, when we play the big teams, we might concede a few goals. When we play the little teams, it's only one here or there. It's just whether or not we can score more than one to earn three points in those contests. That Norwich game hurt me. That Norwich game hurt so much. What do we have, like 2xG and they had 0.3 and we drew 1-1? What is that? Fajoli out. Not what I want to see. Not what I want to see. Is what it is. We've got Santos. Santos has been a bench player recently. We can now bring him in. Santos is doing well in training as well. Okay. On he comes. Central midfielder supporting is fine for me. Hughes, you're lucky if you ever get a game again, mate. I'll be honest, you've you really, really did your best to sabotage our campaign with that red card. Can't remember who it was against. The games just blend into one. The mistakes are are many across this season. A win here would go a long way to progressing our aims to finish in a position of European qualification. Arsenal are right down our right down our necks as well. So we need to be conscious of them. Ferguson has a bruised thigh. Sure, bring him bring Richards on for him. But now that means that we can't bring off a centre back, so be aware. Be aware. There's been no real chances in the game so far. Can we be the team to earn the first one? Or will we give away possession cheaply? Mark Gay in the center of defense. Playing one twos with Anderson. And then ushering it out the left to Richards who's waiting. Lerma tackles. It could be a Brighton opportunity. Nope, never mind. We've won it back. How fast can we advance it? I'm enjoying the that we're trying to be cool and calm on, in possession. But it's not really working here. In fact, we've basically gifted Brighton a chance. Oh. And it is a goal kick. We survived. We survived. We live. Shoot on sight or work the ball into the box? We're getting shots on goal, but they're too far out. Every time I change to, sh to work into the box, though, it never becomes... It never, you know, manifests in a goal. It just means that we're more impotent, surprisingly. If that were possible, Dacho Fofana with a really bizarre, bizarre attempt. It's like he went to cross it when he was through on goal. Alright, there's been no real chances here. I think we need to switch up our approach slightly. Just something I've not done for a while. Uh, focus down the... Who's, who's, who's currently playing where? Don't focus it down the right. Just focus it down the left. Be more direct with your passes. In transition. Okay. Out of possession, press higher, press higher, remain, yeah, yeah, press higher. We might leave ourselves susceptible to a counter-attack here, but you know what? Nothing's really working, so we're going to have to have a Hail Mary. Richard storming through. Okay, we could have some, something on our hands here. Richards progressing again. Finds Magno. Through for Edouard with a chance. Buries it. Thank fuck he's actually turned up to make a difference in a game. Who knew? Who knew it was possible? <laughs> right, stop. Hammer time. Let's reel it in a little. Bring that, bring that defensive line down. Continue the high press of engagement though. We're okay with that. Are we going to potentially get a second? Anderson, out wide. Scally's been a bit mince in the past few months, I can't lie. But he has a chance here to redeem himself. Back to De Curry. Recycling possession here. Gay out to the left to Richards, who's been a bit of a creative force this game. And he almost set up another one there. 
Brighton on the attack here. Oh, Richard, you fucked me. Oh, you've had such a good game. Don't fuck me now. Under 10 minutes remaining. Fofana off for Abada, sure, whatever. Dying moments of the game. Four minute stoppage time. We do deserve to be winning this, but it's narrow. It's narrow. But it's the result regardless. Big, big, big three points. Good win for us. Indeed. Big three points. Holy shit. Whew. Right, what are we saying? What's next? What's next? I'm starting to get a little bit of belief back that we can get at least Europa League. Which I would take. I would take. Especially with how the season has just kind of collapsed. <laughs> 18th place sorry 19th and then 18th place there are six points here if we are good enough to go and snatch them there are six points here and they could go a long way to determining the fate of our club in the next season okay I'm ready. I'm ready. I wish there was like a just skip to game immediately button. All the admin stuff is getting in the way right now. Should Ezzy be in the first team? Most people say yes. Well, who's going to say no? Since he's been back, our form uptake or upturn has been noticeable. Barca storming through the Champions League right now. Okay, we have a game in hand over fifth place Tottenham, not that it matters, but we can, provided that Newcastle struggle in whatever game they have, we can potentially go ahead of them here. Zaha is excited by Inform Palace. Maybe we're building again. Maybe there is something that's building again. Let me go and look at my, um, where do I find player, team, player, player? Shit, where do I find my kids again? Dev Center, Development Center, yeah, 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 yeah. Under 18s, any exciting prospects? Oh, yes, please. Wait, we've already got Spiro, that's fine, that's fine. Battersby, we already have on contract, right? Yeah, we do. Zach Marsh. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, what were you telling me then? Are any of these lads any good? Only sign as a last resort. Brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Oof. They all hate them. E. <laughs> e. Fucking hell. Okay, I, I get the point. Right. Basically, they're useless. QPR, the worst performing attacking team. Surely that's got to mean something for us. Although we couldn't beat fucking last place at the time, Norwich. Can we set the record straight against now last place QPR? Richards has to play there, unfortunately. Other than that, we're good to go, yeah? Fajoli will be back in four weeks. Mitchell will be back in four weeks. Good. Fuck's sake. So, Eduard up top worked for that game at the very least. Let's see if it continues here. It's a good 11 with Fielding. It's a good, it's a strong 11. I have confidence. I have belief. These six points in the next two weeks, if we can claim them, would make all the difference. Newcastle are playing Wolves. I do expect them to pick up a win there. Honestly, I could see Wolves going flawless and let, uh, sorry. Edouard, come on, come on. I could see Newcastle going flawless between now and the end of the season unless they play one of the big dogs. Truly could. Arsenal have gone 1-0 up against Villa, which is great for us actually. 
Even though Arsenal are right on our tails, that is good for us. All right, we're, we're recycling here. We're pushing forward. Magno, out wide to Richards. Back to Magno on the left. And in the middle, the Curry has it. And he finds a lovely ball over. And it is an offside goal from Dacho Fofana. Still, we're creating. You'd rather have these chances than not have them at all, right? Well created opportunity, but the goal will be disallowed regardless. Elsewhere, I'm, ve I'm very keen. Oh, Dan Juma has scored for Newcastle. Keeping them ahead of us. Shit, man. Come on, Wolves. Come on, Wolves. Honorary Wolves fans for the day. We are. Media have given you a lot of credit. Please go out and make it count. Come on. Hold on to this. It's the worst team in the division. Supposedly. Oh, Villa have got one back. Interesting. Eze in the mixer. And it's a goal for Odson Edwards. 18th of the season. Since putting him up front, we've kind of not looked back. I almost wish I'd made that switch sooner. Luke Ailing. Oh, Johnson. No real chance there. QPR truly are the worst team in terms of chance creation, aren't they? You can see it in this game alone. Edouard pushing for a hat-trick here. But Magnus challenged. Richards gets it back though. Hey, Edouard from range. Oh, bounces off the crossbar. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. As he whipping one into Anderson, it's, th it's three. It's three now. Three nil confirmed. Victory sealed. Let's now look to rest some boys. Fofana is always tired. So give him a little rest here. And he's booked. Uh, Dukuri's always tired. Who's our next most valuable player? Probably Scally. Scally or Gay? Fuck it, I've got a lot of subs. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Ferguson's injured though. Never mind. Rodney on for Scally. Let's just go with that. The rest of the league saying Newcastle are still 1-0 up. We do need Newcastle to slip. We can't just be flawless. We need Newcastle to make a mistake. And we need to be there to pick up the pieces. If they do. Santos over. Rodney with a chance to create for Edouard. He does. Edouard couldn't force it over the line though. But that's okay. Edouard's earned his stripes today. Last minute equaliser, Wills. What are you saying? What are you saying? Nope. Newcastle are a formidable defensive unit. Yeah, fucking... It's QPR. It's not a big win. But it is a big three points. Three games left in the division. And our three, three matches are Watford, West Ham and Leicester. They're all winnable. We need a run here. It's a final push for Europa League. Else, we are relegated to the conference. And I don't really want to be in the conference. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's just more fixture congestion for a poorly decorated, if decorated at all, competition. Given the youthful nature of its existence. 